it gives more power to the end users rather than the, pr the people who are providing the applications. And the concept of data ownership to me is very new. Um, I haven't seen that anywhere else before. And um, again, it's, it's for me, I think for, the, for, the, for a lot of people, it's a very subtle thing, especially if you're just using an application, you don't really notice whether you own or not own a data, but then the, the way it affects you um, in all aspects of your life is massive. And for me, allowing um, the information you generate to belong to you is a very powerful thing. And um, sort of this idea of each agent, each node, each person in the network uh, being responsible rather than a single entity being responsible for keeping the network healthy, um, each person, each agent um, being responsible for keeping the network healthy is something that for me is more resilient and robust and um, less brittle. Yeah. So that's what makes me really attached to this um, framework. And also, sorry, just to add, um, not only the technological part, but also the community part. I think is very, very, very fascinating and holochain. Um, most of us here are very, like most, no, actually all of us here have, have at least talked to um, one other community members in the holochain, more than maybe. And we attend a lot of um, community organized events, meetings, and seeing that energy where, you know, each community member is trying to do, trying to provide what they can provide voluntarily without even asking for anything in return just to to keep the entire ecosystem of follow chain growing and this idea of um, data ownership and um, distributed uh, networks come into life is something really wonderful it's like the technological aspect of follow chain is ma getting manifested into real life um, community in follow chain so i think that's really something special as well